everyone, Jeff Bache here, and thank you for checking out one of my videos about the Gym Leader Challenge format. If you're interested in getting into the format, there's a couple things you'll need to know. First, Gym Leader Challenge is a monotype format, which means you have to pick one Pokemon type and build your deck around it. It's a singleton format, meaning that you can't play more than one card of the same name in your 60 card deck. Lastly, no rules box Pokemon are allowed, so you can't play any EX, V, V-Star, Radiant Pokemon, or the like. Gym Winter Challenge is definitely my favorite way to play the Pokemon TCG. If you're enjoying the content, I would appreciate it if you could take a second and like and subscribe to the channel. Every little bit goes a long way in helping the channel grow. Thank you and enjoy. Well, let's For sure. you know, there's our talk. Let's let's get into some gameplay. So um deck lists are, of course, always on the bot. You guys feel free to look at them. I'll shoot them out in stream for y'all. Um, our first game here is going to be Hitmon Lock versus uh, Meganium. So that's our first one that is up. Weeder, do you want to talk to us about your Hitmon Lock deck? I'm not going to put the deck list up, but guys feel free to click on it in the chat. Yeah, so it's a pretty standard Hitmon list. Uh, it's running the Hitmon Bros line. It's got Machamp, of course, since it's the best fighting Pokemon there is, mm -hmm. uh, along with Machoke. And then, let's see, you've got Pseudo Widow as a backup attacker to take cheeky knockouts on Raikou or Guzzlord. And then, really, the only other tech that I have is Archeops. And this is the Evo Lock Archeops, so each player can't. Evolve Pokemon from his or her hand. Uh, so things like Evo TM play around Archeops pretty well, actually. But um, the point of this deck is not to turbo out Archeops on turn two or anything like that. Though it does happen, it does come out early on very rare occasion. The main point of the deck is to get off the combo and then at a at a useful time devolve uh, the opponent so that they can't they can't uh, come back from that board state and so that's the main goal of the deck and uh, you know sometimes hitmon bros just wins because the combo is so strong mm -hmm. and then other times archaeops can can carry so it's a fun way to play it yeah I think that that list is probably the best most competitive bros list probably plays archaeops in some way shape or form um so again I'm, I'm a big fan of it competitively there's just something i can't ever bring myself to play archaeops evo lock seems evil sometimes again it's the right thing to do it is 100 percent the right thing to do so saying that here uh but again just uh it brings back some some Chimeco uh, memories. I have bad memories of Chimeco and not being able to play oh, yeah. creatures with the, or Pokemon with abilities. So, um, yeah. So we're a little scared of this matchup, but I still wanted to play this deck. Weeder and I just kind of went with kind of our favorites this week, um, and so I wanted to play my Meganium deck, and it's a deck I haven't really played too much since Evo Team TM came out, and so um, we're playing Meganium here with its quick. Ripening Herb ability, which basically lets me go from a basic to a stage two um, once per turn. And I can actually evolve it even the same turn that that basic comes down. So because of Meganium's ability here, we're playing a lot of basics and their stage twos. And we're kind of omitting the stage one line so that we can kind of you know keep our Pokemon count low while using some useful things. So we're playing Arboliva in our deck, which heals something. 100% um, when you play it from hand. Um, we're playing Grottle, Grovile as search engines, and then we're playing their stage twos as well. Ter Torterra is basically our win con. We're hoping that Torterra takes anywhere between four to five prizes per game. Um, we can use it to probably trade profitably two for one early, and then we can bring it back with like a revitalizer and instantly play Turtwig into Torterra that same turn. And then the Sceptile that we're playing here has the Nurture, Nurture and Heal, which lets us accelerate an energy from hand and heal 30 damage. So with all of these in play, it's pretty easy to recycle Torterra um, and just keep banging in like that. We're kind of a one-trick pony, um, but the deck is really strong. We played against um, 
Lost Zone last night in a test match. And I thought the Lost Zone would be a really tough matchup. But we ended up, you know, getting our cape onto Meganium to protect it early. Um, we ended up kind of evolving into Torterra. And Torterra took basically all six prizes all by himself. Um, the cool thing about cape in this deck is that if your opponent is using um, damage counters instead of doing damage, they actually don't get the extra prize. So against Lost Zone, uh, Luxurious Cape is a fantastic card. Yeah, that uh, that is a nice tech against uh, Lost Zone. Yeah. Um, you say you're a little nervous about my deck, but uh, that Torterra with all the healing and the getting played again in the next turn, that's... It's a little bit terrifying, so it could be. It could definitely go either way. Yeah, one hundred percent. I think that this is going to really boil down to the Hitmonlee turn. You know, do I play out my Chikorita if I know Hitmonlee is coming? And I think the answer is no. I think sometimes you just have to let, like, you know, stagger your your Pokemon when you're playing against a spread style deck, especially one like Hitmon Bros that snipes ninety on the second turn a lot of time. Um, you just gotta kind of like you know just be patient you can't play out all your basics at once um and even if we evolve it on turn two you know bayleaf only has 90 hp so we, we just have to be patient we have the late game what's really really scary for us on this side of the matchup is that since we're going straight from our basics into stage twos your devo tm is going to be ridiculous if you get off a hitmon top special combo and then devolve it's basically taking everything oh that's a good point i forgot about the uh the lack of stage two so that'll be interesting to see yeah so i think this is a really interesting matchup so it might be a little lopsided one way or the other but it will still be fun to see how it plays out that's what i'm really really excited about I think we could play this matchup 10 times and it would be 10 different games. So, <laughs> yeah, love it. For sure. All right, not mulliganing. That's unique for us. All right, we got Trico here in the active. Not the best, not the worst. All right, you're going second, right? Correct. All right, we have a terrible hand for going second. But we're going to do it. We're hoping you don't have just the, the donk in hand. So, we're going to draw here. Um... Well, I know we're going to use this Ultra Ball. Um, so let's actually, let's start with a Hisuian Heavy Ball. We're playing Grass, so it's very likely that something important is prized. And of course, it's the Grovile. <laughs> um, but we did find Chikorita off of this. So that's that's usually pretty good. Our prizes aren't terrible. I'll show you guys our prizes. We got Beautifly Prize, Cynthia and Caitlin, and the Grow Vial here are kind of big pieces. Rare Candy being prized is a little bit of a bummer too, but you know what? I think we'll be okay. Normally we play Hitmon Bros, and prizing is always an issue there too. All right, so this is going to lead us to go ahead and Ultra Ball away, uh, Guzma, and a Grass Energy. And we would love to go ahead and get this Turtwig up and going as well so turtwig it is we'll attach an energy we only have one attacker really it's turtwig so i don't think the energy needs to go anywhere else so energy on turtwig will pass okay draw for turn i'm kind of hoping to get a decent top deck almost there um i'll start with a level ball okay on chan there's it on chan okay uh i'm gonna scoop up Put it back on the bench. Discarded Guzma, so I'm not too worried about getting stuck. Uh, I'm going to bench Halucha. I really would have liked to use the scoop up on Halucha, but um, Halucha is the counters best. on those two. I'm, maybe I should have saved it, but yeah, maybe I should have saved it. But having it to sack in case you play hand disruption would be kind of nice. But I'm going to put a basic energy on Hitmonchan, and I'm going to try and apply some pressure with Muscle Band and Hit and Run, uh, but I'll stay in the active. Cool. I think all of that is right. Muscle. There's no better Muscle Band wear than Hitmonchan. All right, uh, let's draw. This is a little tough. Um, we have Gladion in hand, and I think our best play here is, even though I have another card that might draw me more cards, I think that we're going to go Gladion here, which is going to get us the Grovile. And the Grovile is really going to get us started here. 
um, with getting our board established. You can only kill one thing next turn. Unless you stay Hitmonchan in the active, then you're just killing Grovile. So we're going to go Evolve Grovile, and then we're going to use Sunshine Grace here. Sunshine Grace is going to get us a Grottle, and then we'll use Grottle's ability here, Sun Drenched Shell, which also lets us search out a Grass Pokemon, and we will grab the Bayleaf. So we kind of went from 0 to 100 there. But still not a lot going on over here. Um, I think that's all we're going to do, and we'll pass it back to you. And we're still setting up. We're okay with it. Not the worst top deck, not the, not the best. I'm going to Cynthia and Caitlin away Super Rod. Okay. Draw three cards. Ooh, the Cynthia and Caitlin just for draw three cards. Something I know oh so well as a Hitmon Rose player. So then I will bench Lily's Poke Doll and attach Stone Energy. I do think it's my best option. I will attach Stone Energy. I'm going to hit and run for the knockout. Yep. And I'm going to go back to the Poke Doll. All right. Um, we're going to put up Grottle. And we will draw for turn. All right. I am going to swaddle here. And then we will uh, Ordinary Rod, which we're just going to put Trico and Grovile back into the deck. Uh, and then I'm going to Titan Liza to shuffle draw five. One, two, three, four, five. Bench a Rosalia here. Um, let's go ahead and use Grottle. And Grottle's still got one on him. And we're going to go and we're going to get Meganium. So Meganium it is. Um, and then I'm going to go ahead and use Evolution Incense here. And we're going to grab Levani. And we'll use Meganium's ability. And we'll just go ahead and evolve right into it. Seems very important in this matchup. So just go ahead and get it out. Um, let's, at the same time, go ahead and Quick Ball away. Arbeliva, and we are going to get that Trico that we just saw. We'll bench the Trico, and then we'll pass to you. All right, draw for a turn. Kind of a brutal uh, board I'm staring down now. I think the only thing, really the only option I have, I played you turn board. I don't know if I just said that, but I've got Marnie in hand. Okay. I've got to Marnie. Marnie's not bad because we did have oh. Grovile, so we will put Grovile to the bottom and we'll go up to four cards. We'll evolve to Machoke. Okay. Oh, I do. There are three Pokemon that turn. I'm going to put the Poke Doll mm -hmm. back on the bottom of my deck and I will promote Hitmonchan, hit and run for 20 damage and go into uh, Just 10, right? I've got. Oh yeah, just 10. It's minus 40, not 30. Oh yeah, Levani is busted. All right, let's draw for turn. Um, so we just kind of got everything going now. So I think we're in a pretty safe spot, at least for the moment. So um, let's start with a level ball. And level ball is going to get us Grovile. Let's use Grovile's ability. Um, and let's go ahead and get, I want to get a draw card. And we got Colrus, so I think Colrus is what we want. So we're going to use Grovile, and we'll go and grab a Roserade. Roserade is going to get us Colrus. And yes, we're going to hope to spike an energy off of Colrus here. Um, is there anything? Oh, of course. We're going to put Luxurious Cape onto Lavani, I think, actually, here. Um, so let's let's Colrus. Um, we'll Colrus four, the big old six, and hoping to spike an energy here. All right, one, two, three, four, five, and six. So we're going to Nest Ball here. Nest Ball is going to grab us a Worm. Um, let's bench Wormple. We'll use Grottle's ability here to go and get Torterra. There's Torterra. 
we've got energy in hand. Um, I think we do. So I'm going to do this. We are going to scoop up net Rosalia Roserig. And we'll go ahead and re-bench Rosalia here. Um, attach energy from hand to Torterra. And then we will Evo press for 50, 100, 200. Okay. I'll take E-turn board back to hand. And promote like hit my chin. That would be pretty clean. Yeah, it's in our process, um, unfortunately. I'll draw for turn. We'll evolve to champ. Mm -hmm. uh, play tag call. And go to see if Guzma Hala is in the deck. I'm going to take Guzma Hala, mm -hmm. discarding probably Ultra Ball and on top. I'll also take these three off Goose Hollow, Strong Energy, Bricklet Hill, M Evolution. Mm -hmm. uh, so I'll play Bricklet Hill okay. to retrieve. Pseudo Widow is not very interesting. Only basic is Hitmonlee, so I'll take that. I'll attach a Strong Energy to the Champ. Yep. And then Torterra has two on it, is that right? Yep, two. Yep, he's at 190 and he'll take 40 less. I think I have just enough. I'll retreat yep. into Machamp, and I'll use Strong Arm Lariat for I'm gonna do the 200 damage and take that. Yep, that's a 180. All right, so now we have a little bit of a conundrum, and that is who to promote here. Um, Roserade has one retreat, so it's not much different than like a Wormple putting it up there. Um, so let's put up Rosalia and let's draw Roserade here, I guess. Clara here. Play Clara here. And we'll get back Turtwig, Torterra, and two Grass Energy. We'll go ahead and uh, Turtwig into Torterra using Meganium's ability. We'll attach an Energy here. We'll use Grovile's Sunshine Grace ability to go and search for a grass Pokemon. It is Sceptile here. All right, we'll accelerate an energy onto Torterra with Sceptile, setting him up for an attack next turn, unfortunately, not this turn. Uh, and we know that your Machamp can't attack, so we'll just pass to you. Okay, you're off for a turn. Wow, just a brutal... <clears throat> series of draws here. I'll Bricklet Hill Pseudo Wudo out of my deck. My only option is to U-turn board and retreat the stone energy, although I'm still going to be 10 short. Um, retreat into... Uh, I'm going to retreat into Hitmonchan, attach, and then I will hit and run for... 10 damage All right. and promote Pseudo Widow. All right. Uh, we'll draw for turn. Um, all right. So we just have VS Seeker here for uh, Guzma. Um, so let's kill that Machamp before he gets too big. So we will VS Seeker for Guzma. We'll go ahead and use Guzma. We'll switch out to Torterra. Um, how much does Pseudo Wudo have in terms of HP? 90. 90. And is he weak to grass? Weak to water. Weak to water. That makes sense from the game. All right. I've got really no backup attackers here, so I'm not going to, you know, attach any energy, I don't think. So um, we're just going to... Evo press for the KO here. Take a breath. Mote. Beautiful eye. No, dang it. Monthly. Draw for turn. I hit and ran last turn. I will Raihan. Okay. To Pseudo Wudo. I'm just, I'm living on a hope and a prayer here. Okay. Uh, my 
card I'm going to take is Fossil, put yep. it on the bench, and then I'll retreat into Pseudo Widow, mm -hmm. attach Evo TM, and use uh, use Evo TM to evolve into Arkin. Okay. All right. We will draw for turn. Drew a float stone, but I don't think I want to actually play the float stone. Uh, stagger my tools here in case you find yourself with a f uh, way to get rid of this luxurious cape. That's really what the issue will become. So float stone is important to not play right now. Um, let's go ahead and let's Cynthia and Caitlin here. Um, and let's get rid of Isuin Heavy Ball. Now we're going to take back Guzma. And we'll draw three. There's are some cards that do some things. None that I really want to play currently, though. We're all support on this bench. That's what we're all about. Um, we'll just Evo press again for KO. Okay. Promote hit one Lee. Now, if I could draw any, or quite a few good draws, just need one and draw okay. for turn. Oh, that was so close. Uh, I will Evo Incense for Keops. Okay. And then I'll retreat into Hitmonchan and then hit and run back to Hitmonlee for 10 damage. All right. We'll draw. Uh, we'll bump Brooklet Hill for Turf Field. Um, we're going to Guzma up, I guess, Meganium. And then we got Floatstone. And then we will. Evo press the Archeops. All right, that's going to be it. I'll scoop from here. Yeah. I needed, uh, I had, in, I had evolution if I had an energy. Uh, put in back in the game.